أصحاب المعالي وسادة معالي وزير الخارجية المصرية السادة السادة والسادة الحضور الكريم صباح الخير لكم جميعا مرحبا بكم إنه لمن دواعي سروري أن أرحب بكم جميعا في المسخرة بعالم الدولة الأسوان لأسلام وسلامة هذا ما يأخذنا في قوانا في السلام والسلامة في السلام والسلامة and the, the two following days we will speak through the space available here in uh, Aswan uh, forum sessions on these matters. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to welcome you here today in the opening session of uh, the third edition of the Aswan Forum Sustainable Peace and Development. My name is Rami Radwan. It's an honor to be with you here today in the opening of this important uh, event. Aswan Forum for Pe Sustainable Peace and Development was established in 2019 in Aswan City as a high-level platform, a unique platform also in Africa that works on uh, enhancing the ties between peace and development and enhances also the ownership of African uh, issues and supports the um, efforts of this, the continent that achieves the, uh, the goals of uh, African Union uh, vision to 2016. This uh, edition is, heard, uh, is held under the title of uh, the climate change. Track, uh, tracks for a peaceful continent that is sustainable and resilient. This uh, year is it is held uh, it is held hybrid, which enables access to Africa and all the states in the world. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, this edition is held in a critical stage where the whole world witnesses uh, turmoils that cause many crises and dangers that was reflected directly on the African continent in a time when the continent faces many existing challenges, especially resulted from a corona crisis in addition to the challenges or threats before peace and security. On the other side, African countries have many important factors that enable them to achieve uh, prosperity, economic and human development in the continent through the, Egypt, uh, the African youth who represent more than half of the population and with the exerted efforts by the uh, citizens in the continent in, in order to enhance the continent to face uh, the challenges facing our countries and societies at the same time. The addition this year has a special um, position because it's a very important uh, station on the way to COP 2017, COP 27, that is hosted by Egypt in November. That's why it will tackle many issues related to climate change and its growing impacts on peaceful uh, peace and development in Africa. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, at the beginning of the opening ceremony, I'd like you to welcome His Excellency Minister Samah Shukri, the Minister of Foreign Affairs. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most compassionate, ladies and gentlemen, ministers of this assembly, it's a pleasure today to share with you or participate with you in the establishment of the third edition of Aswan Forum for Sustainable Peace and Development in Kenes uh, on Egypt. Uh, by Egypt to support the African efforts to treat the exceptional current situations which was reflected on the President's keenness to deliver a speech in this forum which it reiterates the importance paid by Egypt for a swan forum which is considered and, and also embodies the ownership of the citizens in the continent for uh, their destiny and leadership in providing inclusive and effective solutions 
for the problems facing the continent in, um, in cooperation with the international partners on a common ground that achieves the mutual benefit for everyone. Selecting the title of the third edition of the forum, Africa in the Age of uh, Cascading Risks and the Effect of Climate Change, Paths for a peaceful content and resilient content also. To, allow, to, uh, to leave a room for a deep dialogue on the issues threatening the peace and security of our African continent with focus on innovative solutions to achieve the goals of African Union Agenda uh, 2063 and Sustainable Development Agenda or uh, SDGs 2030. Ladies and gentlemen, the third edition of a Swan Forum is held within exceptional political and unprecedented uh, uh, developments witnessed by the uh, international community. These developments carry many negative uh, consequences and most outstanding of them is the uh, food crisis which, uh, which, makes, which makes it difficult uh, in achieving food security especially in a time where the international economy and African economy suffer from the negative effects by the corona crisis then hence I'd like to provide Egyptian, the Egyptian vision that's built on the following axis. First, the importance of the diversification of uh, uh, food uh, resources and securing the supply chain for the uh, countries in, this, uh, in Africa, including controlling the prices in addition to the continental coordination in order to reach a self-sufficiency stage. Second, necessity to contain all the negative effects on Africa that, uh, that are resulted from the international turmoils and preventing uh, the negative effects of the international challenges and facing the uh, economic and security effects and controlling the increasing prices in energy sector and its direct effect on increasing poverty and organized crimes, in addition to polariz polarization by uh, um, tourism organizations uh, by, uh, for African use in Africa. Here, there should be a, a cooperation of international uh, uh, efforts to help Africa. Third, insist to uh, adopt uh, an inclusive uh, approach to face tourism and to achieve the sustainable development peace within the current developments and building strong African institutions uh, that are able to face the uh, terroristic uh, threats. In addition to highlighting the uh, contribution by the African youth in enhancing peace and sustainable development, which that uh, as one forum was keen on by uh, launching a uh, youth dialogue organized by the co countries in the continent. Ladies and gentlemen, Egypt, as the coming president of COP27, it will work uh, on coordination with its brotherly states in Africa to come out with specific results that help the international climate action, especially reducing emissions, adaptation, and building cap uh, capacity to um, afford the uh, negative effects of climate change, enabling also the uh, African uh, countries and developing countries by accessing to um, to many tools, especially the uh, Climate Fund. Out of this, in uh, Aswan Forum, this, in this edition, we uh, focused on the Green Recovery Agenda and enhancing Africa's capacity to be resilient within the current crisis that test um, the national uh, efforts and uh, continental framework. In addition to the climate change issues within the framework of uh, the growing effects on uh, the development and peace and stability in Africa, like uh, the uh, ties between uh, climate change and building peace and the overlapping of uh, climate change with food and water security, in addition to the, uh, the nexus between um, displacement and climate change in Africa, which is a chance to deepen the, the treatment of these issues based on the discussions on them in the uh, Peace and Security Council in African Union during the past period 
especially in the Egyptian presidency uh, of the African Union in November 2021. Take into consideration also what was mentioned in the report of the uh, International uh, Committee on Climate Change this year under the title of the uh, Adaptation and effects. In this regard, I'd like to mention that the uh, awareness of the international co uh, community of the uh, climate change and its threats requires the cooperation of different efforts of different parties in order to uh, face the challenges of climate change and uh, providing the necessary findings, especially uh, regarding the uh, adaptation, taking into consideration that Africa is the most affected continent with the uh, consequences of climate change, especially, uh, or although that uh, is the least contributor in climate change. In conclusion, I'd like to uh, direct my appreciation, thanks to my uh, colleagues, uh, ministers from Senegal and and other African countries who were keen on attending this forum. I'd like also to thank all the partners who were keen on supporting this forum in different forms, especially fro uh, from uh, private sector, international organizations, research centers, and so on, which is uh, a, a practical example on cooperation. In addition to the, uh, the efforts of um, of CCPA, that is a leader in uh, African institutes that uh, institutions that provide solutions for the African problems. We wish that uh, um, this forum is a, uh, an important point in the path of enhancing international mutual uh, uh, action to provide a better world and sustainable world that is resilient facing all the challenges. Thank you so much. Thank you, Your Excellency. Samah Shukri, the Minister uh, of Foreign Affairs in Egypt. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to follow up uh, or to listen to a recorded message by uh, His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the President of the Republic uh, of Egypt, uh, followed by a, a recorded message of Antonio Guterres. Uh, from UN and uh, the head also uh, and also the head of the African Union Commission. Now let's listen to the message by President Abdel Fattah Sisi. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most compassionate, ladies and gentlemen, August Assembly. It's a pleasure to welcome you in third edition of Aswan Forum for Sustainable Peace and Development. It is uh, an African platform that proves day after day since its establishment during the Egyptian presidency of the African Union in 2019 that it is uh, an effective uh, an inclusive African platform where we discuss the, the different uh, challenges that facing the continent through which also we try to crystallize a mutual vision that enhances the relation between peace and sustainable development. It also enhances cooperation between us and between the uh, international partners. Holding the forum this year is in a very critical time where the international community suffers from a growing turmoils that have long-term consequences on different fields and different levels, whether economic, uh, political, and developmental uh, levels that are reflected also on our African countries, especially that um, on the uh, uh, food and energy security to be added to the health, economic, and social consequences resulted from COVID uh, uh, crisis that our countries still suffer from it, uh, its negative effects, which uh, puts another uh, responsibility on our shoulders, which is uh, the cooperation of, uh, of mutual efforts to face these threats and to enhance our resilience to uh, reach a safe shore. In this uh, context, I'd like to highlight especially on the food crisis witnessed by the African continent currently since it may have dangerous consequences on the stability and the safety of our uh, communities, which requires 
taking effective and accelerated measures in coordination with international partners and the international community to support the African countries in containing these effects by the, the diversification of uh, food resources and securing supply chains to the uh, countries in the continent. In addition to taking sustainable measures to uh, maintain the food security by using the developed technology in agriculture and making it available for African countries. In addition to intensifying our efforts to increase our uh, production from, um, of agricultural crops in order to reach a self-sufficiency stage, focusing on uh, increasing resilience in uh, food security, this year reflects our keenness and the keenness paid by our, by our countries for the threats of, uh, and challenges of food security and puts us before the responsibility of providing food for the population of Africa within the challenges and threats of uh, um, water scarcity and price, uh, prices increase. It requires uh, to reach quick solutions in order to overcome this international crisis. Ladies and gentlemen, it's necessary also to, within the subsequent crisis, not to forget the other challenges that we still face in our continent. On top of them is the stability of peace and security and achieving sustainable development that we are looking forward to. In addition to protecting our countries and African communities from the spread of uh, terrorism and the related phenomena. And the most dangerous of them is uh, weapon smuggling and the increase of um, in uh, organized crimes and the, um, illegal migration in addition to tra uh, human trafficking. This pushes us to uh, uh, enhance our uh, efforts through um, many initiatives to find innovative and effective solutions that allow us to overcome the difficult conditions that we should move forward to implement them by effective mechanisms and ambitious goals that uh, achieves the aspirations of the population of the, in the continent. In this framework, Egypt is keen on establishing the center of coast and, uh, and desert to uh, serve the population of this continent in order to face um, the negative con consequences of this phenomenon in, order to, in addition to building the capacities of uh, the affected uh, African countries, especially Sahel or coast areas, by providing training courses and participating in peacekeeping uh, forces. In addition, Egypt launched the African Union Center for the Reconstruction and Development for, uh, in post-conflict countries in order to do an effective role in preparing the necessary uh, programs and activities to support countries after conflicts and, um, and prevent returning to the conflict stage again. Ladies and gentlemen, the third edition of this forum um, comes in parallel with the, ap uh, the approach of hosting COP27 conference in Sharm Sheikh, where your discussions during the coming two days will represent a very important chance to highlight the role play, uh, played by climate change in increasing the challenges of peace and security in Africa, in Africa especially that our, con our continent is the most vulnerable for the negative effects of climate change, especially on desertification, water scarcity, and natural resources. In addition to the undermining of uh, development efforts and the special consequences made by the uh, tourism organizations uh, to uh, control the resources of the continent, which requires to accelerate uh, the implementation of international um, 
commitments to our um, continent in relation to the adaptation of uh, climate change, negative effects in addition to increasing the international fund and enhancing resilience, which can directly contribute and also effectively, effectively uh, contribute in building peace and guaranteeing its sustainability. Ladies and gentlemen, holding Aswan Forum this year <coughs> provides a very important chance to continue raising the voice of Africa and making it reach to all the international uh, partners at the international level and making its uh, issues on the top of the priorities of the international community in a very complicated international time where the priorities and concerns change in relation to the subsequent developments witnessed by our daily uh, reality in which the attention paid to the issues of our uh, continent shouldn't be decreased in addition to the uh, cooperation for helping it at the international level. I can't miss to reiterate that enhancing women roles in, uh, in peace and security in Africa in addition to benefiting from the power of youth and their vision in making the future of our country is a pivotal axis that we should hold on to in facing the uh, subsequent challenges as they are the most vulnerable categories and also the most uh, capable to face the and support our strategy to achieve peace and security that are necessary to achieve sustainable development in conclusion despite the real efforts exerted and the achievements we uh, did together in Africa in the past period, the uh, exceptional conditions witnessed by our world today reiterate that uh, the road before us is still long to achieve the aspirations of our peoples, which requires from all of us to uh, cooperate uh, and continue working and taking the responsibility and strong will that allow us to reach our goal in addition to the established faith that we can together overcome these difficulties in order to achieve a better future for our African continent. I'm sure that your deliberations and negotiations during the work of this forum will make a high level and appreciated contribution to crystallize and draft visions that enhance our mutual efforts and eliminate the road for a better future for everyone. I'd like also to express that I'm looking forward to the outcomes of these deliberations and discussions after the end of this forum. I'd like also to thank you for your listening. May peace and blessings of God be upon you. All thanks and appreciation for His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Sisi, President of Egypt. And now we will listen to the UN General Security, Mr. Antonio Guterres. Excellencies, dear friends. As you know, the African continent is facing many challenges in addition to the economic crisis. صراعات وهذا طبعا يذكرنا في الوقت ذاته بأزمة المناخ 
تقدم القارة الأفريقية فقط 30% من الغازات الدفيئة إلا أن القارة ودول القارة هي الأكثر تأثرا تعرضا للمجاعات وللأزمات الخاصة بنقص المياه وطبعا بكل الدول وهناك حوالي 10% على الأقل من من الشعوب الأفريقية تعاني من إتاحة الدعم للحصول على أو الوصول لأمان واستدامة مستقبلية للاقتصاديات ولذلك في مواجهة الكوفيد 19 قامت كل الشركات الدوائية والحكومات أن تعمل معا لتقديم كل مساعيها لتقديم عدد من اللقاحات والأدوية لابد أن نعمل على أن الدول الأفريقية أيضا تشهد مثل ما تشهد باقي دول العالم بالحصول على هذه الـ 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 الأمن الغذائي والنمو الأخضر والعلاجات والأمثال لا بد أن نتأكد أن هناك نمو تشهد القارة وهذا المنتدى يساعد في هذا الخوض في هذا ال Helps in this regard. All the concerned parties, especially the security agencies, should provide strong and clear plans that addresses all the problems resulting from these climate change problem. In addition to also a Paris Accord, if we do not commit to it, it will be a disaster. We should all help. And I identifying our needs <coughs> according to the programs of the African Union. All of them should work on the achieving the African aspirations and using the available resources and reduce the use of uh, fossil fuel in order to achieve a new revolution by using the renewable energy and the available raw material in order to support and increase the investments and to have a number of projects that, that provide many services that many African countries can benefit from and to move together from using the fossil fuel and support the countries in order to build a green economy in addition to increasing the investments there are billions of dollars that are invested every year we should give this chance for Africa as you know only 2% of, uh, of this money are in Africa in the past decades by the uh, conference of COP27, there should be many uh, endeavors that support and guarantees that all the peoples will be able to face the subsequent um, risks in the coming 50 years. You should know that the United Nations supports everybody to have a more prosperous uh, future. Thank you. All thanks for Mr. Antonio Guterres, the UN General Secretary. Now we are listening to Musa Faqih, the head of the African Union Commission. Gentlemen, Mr. Assembly, it's a pleasure to be with you. The, the third edition of Aswan Forum for Sustainable Peace and Development that uh, focus on uh, the endeavors and paths to achieve more prosperous and sustainable and safe future for the African continent to face the uh, problems in cl of climate change which provides solutions that can address these challenges we are facing now in Africa. Now let me express my uh, thanks and appreciation for Egypt uh, to hold this uh, very important uh, forum. Climate change issue is a very important or a very dangerous uh, threat to our existence and to our civilization. It is also one of the most important things for the sustainability of, uh, of development in Africa. In fact, uh, climate change reflects with its negativity on uh, decades of uh, development and investments. There are also a number of, uh, also a number of uh, other environmental challenges like the 
deterioration, environmental challenges, and water scarcity and food security issues also. This also increases poverty. All of this unfortunately increases terrorism and extremism in particular. The effects of these challenges are reflected on the different sectors in different societies that work on many things, especially in Africa, who have to face uh, them on the economic, uh, political, environmental and social level to face this growing uh, crisis. Parallelly, the vulnerability of Africa comes on the top uh, to uh, increase the effects of the uh, COVID-19 crisis. We have to face this uh, crisis and increase uh, resilience. The AUC and its partners implemented the following th uh, matters. Developing a strategy by the AUC to be applied in the AUC Summit 2022, in addition to increasing the green economy, economy and uh, the agricultural areas, especially in the developing countries. Second, achieving an, an action plan in uh, implementing an action plan in 2022 and also a recovery plan from the COVID-19 crisis. In addition to supporting the ties and relations between the concerned sectors, a number of quick partnerships that are relevant and uh, quickly achieved in order to achieve ways that strengthen this continent. Actually, there should be many steps to achieve this. First, strengthening the developing countries within the context of uh, several negotiations. At the same time, a number of plans has to be achieved in relation to the agenda of COP27. Second, transformation to green energy. There should be usages and applications in addition to capacity building in order to uh, reduce carbon emissions. Third, leaving a room to work on items related to the funding, especially for companies and uh, projects and the least developed countries. Fourth, investment to achieve sustainability and the calling upon systems that work on achieving sustainability. Fifth, quick implementation of climate agenda and clear points should be set in order to achieve the, uh, the goals of climate change agenda. I'd like to extend my thanks uh, to Egypt uh, for holding uh, and hosting uh, COP27 at the end of this year. Out of commitment, the AUC will cooperate with all the stakeholders to uh, make uh, the climate summit uh, succeed. Wishing you all success and guidance in this event and coming out with effective results. Thank you, Mr. Musa Faqih, the head of AOC, for his speech. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just assembly now after the end.